द टावर ऑफ हनय ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज द टावर ऑफ ब्रह्मा और द लोकस टावर दट प्रोबेबली प्लेड बाय यू वॉज इन्वेंटेड बाय अ फ्रेंच मैथमेटिशियन एडवर्ड ल्यूकस इन द नाइनटीन सेंचुरी लेट एस सी वॉट इज द टावर ऑफ हनय प्रॉब्लम एंड वॉट इज द मैथ बिहाइंड द टावर ऑफ हनय So let us start with first question. What is the Tower of Hanoi problem? Tower of Hanoi is a mathematical puzzle where we have three rows and n number of discs. The objective of the puzzle is move the entire stack to another row, obeying the following simple rule. Only one disc can be moved at a time. Each move consists of taking upper disc from the one stack. and placing it on the top of the another stack no disc may be placed on the top of the smaller disc now here question is how many moves does it take to solve the tower of hanoi when you have n number of disc is there any common pattern here let us take three road road a is the source Road C is destination and road B is a auxiliary road. And initially take one disc and try to find minimum moves. Here only one move is needed to reach destination. So move disc from source A to destination C. Here let me prepare a table. For one disc one minimum move is needed. Now let us take two discs and find out minimum moves so first move smaller disc from a to b then move larger disc from a to c lastly move small disc from b to c this process need three moves so for two discs minimum three moves are needed let us try with three disc now This problem is called as large problem. So, disc one moved from A to C. Disc two moved from A to B. Disc one moved from C to B. Disc three moved from A to C. Disc one moved from B to A. Disc two moved from B to C. Disc one moved from A to C. This whole process takes seven moves. so number of disc 3 and the minimum moves are 7 now let us take four discs move disc 1 from road a to road b move disc 2 from a to c move disc 1 from b to c move disc 3 from a to b move disc 1 from c to a move disc 2 from c to b move disc 1 from a to b Move disc four from A to C. Move disc one from B to C. Move disc two from B to A. Move disc one from C to A. Move disc three from B to C. Move disc one from A to B. Move disc two from A to C. Move disc one from B to C. That's how four disc takes fifteen minimum moves. Now let us try to find any common pattern from these numbers. If we look at these numbers, these numbers are actually close to the power of two. Here, power of two are two, four, eight, sixteen, and so on. If we look at these numbers, then these numbers are always one less than the power of two. So for one disc, that is one less than the first power of two. So the first power of two is two. Two minus one gives us one. Next for two disc, it is one less than the second power of two. So two into two minus one is three. As like for three disc, it is two to the power of three minus one is equals to seven. And again for four discs. 2 to the power of 4 minus 1 is 15 so for n discs it is 
2 to the power of n minus 1 minimum moves are needed. This is the myth behind the puzzle. Hope this video is helpful for you. If yes, then do like share this video and don't forget to subscribe infinity.